Bring it on, bring it on. Do you think I'm scared? Against a mixed shrimp? Let's see here. Oh, beautiful. I love to go marmoset. What else am I going to do here? If I had to choose, Axel Handle maybe cheat me out a good win. And I'll go duck for later. And I'll be a leaking dumpling. This seems like it'd be a really strong start. Of course, I'd always love to run a moth. But for what I have right now, this should be good. Uh, Tabby Cat doesn't really work too well here. Maybe if there's like a ladybug or something. Frigate Bird doesn't seem like it'd be that bad of a choice if somebody's going bad. Nice, and it did cheat me out a win. Uh, this is very funny. Do I really want to go level 2 Axle Handle? It falls off so hard later on. I think I'm just going to roll... I'll freeze and roll past it. I guess I'll take it for the chance to level it up. But I don't really care for it at all. Maybe I should have... No, it doesn't matter because win or lose, I'll heal up anyway. Let's see. What am I going for here? I love to hit an ox, an owl... Dolphin is okay. Dodo bird would be nice. Goldfish will be nice. Pegasus kind of stinks, in my opinion. We'll have to see. Nice. I don't really care if I win or lose here, but it still is nice to see. What do I want here? That's perfect. I will take an ox for sure. Do I want to sell the two ducks to give you two HP? No. I'm just going to use you as a level up option only. Beautiful. That's also extremely good here. But I won't roll for you. And I will put you right here. I'll put you here and I think I'm happy. This should work against most squads. They're all going tennis ball, which I feel like is pretty weak. Of course, I mean, there's, there's not really many good choices besides it. But like for you to have tennis ball on turn two or turn three, that means that you sold a ferret that you got to p purchase something else. This doesn't make any sense. These two make more sense. Like you shouldn't have that kind of team comp that early on. Oh, that's such a good trade. Nice. An opponent getting an owl early on is really scary. That's very good. I'll stack you, purchase you. I should have frozen the rice. I was really just looking for a marmoset there. Uh, I think that this is okay. Do I want to move you around? No, I think this is fine. But uh, it would have been really nice to get a uh, an early owl. I'm a big fan of the scaling opportunity. Because there's not really a good way to beat it. I also respect how he's going guinea pig here. This guy, out of the three people that I see here, seems like he really knows what he's doing. Not saying that the other people are bad or anything. I just... I'm really worried about that person. The Ragnar Raris. But I do have a chance to get a... What is it called? A penguin or a dragonfly going off early. If I can hit a Marmoset, that'd be amazing. I also really want to hit a level 2 on an Ox. Just to get a penguin going really well. A really good trade. Oh, it doesn't matter at all. That's still really strong. <gasps> nice. Not losing there is great. I'll definitely take this. Oh, these are two horrible choices. I'd rather just go dolphin or guinea pig or something. I could sell you, stack it on both of you. That's not too bad of a choice.
Do I want to go antelope? Antelope is so bad. I'd rather just hit a dolphin. No, I don't think you're necessary for right now. I'll definitely take you though. Oh, give me a marmoset, please. That would make me very happy. I think the next thing I'm going to sell is uh, the axe handle. And then go for you. You'll get a level. Potentially, I can get another level off of you later on. But this is okay. I don't think I needed to move anything. I didn't really check. You are getting really scary. That It is what it is. That still worked out really well. The extra HP buffer is always nice. But I'm not scaling at all, which is scary. Sell you, buy you. I will take a hawk. That is incredible. I think it's time to sell you and just give up on the advantage that you would give me. Or I could save you for a turn. Go greedy. Save you for a turn. Go for a double chance on a monkey, Nyella. Give me a rice. No rice. But if I had to choose... What would I pick here? Mm, I'll go for the level on you. I don't care for you, but I guess that's okay. This is a double chance to hit a monkey, which would be phenomenal. Why are you in the front? Is it because I like losing? What happened? Why are you in the front? Holy moly. That's the only way I could throw this, is by having you in the front, and here you are. This was so stupid by me. I'm, I hope I lose. For making a choice like that, I want last place. This is so dumb. For such a free win. But I hope I lose. I hope I lose this round. Mentally, I need to lose this round. It just can't be done. That's so sad. Okay. Something good. That's horrible. Something good. That's pretty bad. Do I want to... Stack you or stack you. I don't care for Beluga Whale, but I have a really amazing opportunity here. Where I could sell you by the Beluga Whale, freeze you. Then the Beluga Whale always spits out a scorpion. That's phenomenal, right? I can't pass that up. Let's wait one turn and not get anything. And let's put you in the front now. You're going to have a 12 HP unit. That's very scary. I think I have to do it like this. I think the combined efforts of all three of you might be able to kill it. But that is intimidating. The scaling that he has going. You'll be able to hard counter it though. So that'll be nice. Oh, that's funny. I did not see that coming. Nice. And I'm definitely going to pick you. Thank you. And I want some good scaling. Uh, you two are becoming fairly irreplaceable. I could sell you and then go dragonfly. That's not a bad idea. I don't really need you anymore. These are my, I guess, end goal units right now. I'll take a canned food. Because I don't like any of these units too much. Or I don't like you. So I went against you. Next I'm going to go against you. I'll get double the attack here. 
What is this? That's a waste of time. I've never been a big fan of the mouse. Yeah, watch this. You're done. Just kidding, you're actually a monster. Okay, that's a disaster. I want to give you chocolate, but I don't want to mess this up. Give me a monkey instead. Make this easy. Monkey me. <gasps> you're even better than a monkey. Well, not really, but you still are incredible. This should work just about against anybody. But this should work well against pretty much anyone here. You are very scary, but everyone seems to be trying to counter you. I don't know why this did so good. That is kind of surprising. But soon I'll be able to get uh, something on you to make you really good. I don't really need to make you level 2. Unless I go boar. Then maybe it's worth it. I mean, then it definitely would be worth it, right? But right now you're just kind of my counter. So I don't need to invest anything in you. Holy moly, what is this? Oh, we still survive. Beautiful. I need you. Do I sell you? You're so useless. You're just a big stat. There's no way I'm going to make it to endgame with you on my team. That's really good. A lionfish is also extremely good early on. A saber tooth could counter this pretty hard. But I really love seeing a lionfish pop. I mean, this is like the best unit in the game. This is incredible too, though. Do I give up my scaling for this? Yes. Which one do I pick? Thank you. Thank you. That's okay. I still feel like this is worth it, but I did kind of mess up my team comp for something. Okay. I don't know if you have it in you. You don't. That's okay, we're kind of playing around it for the late game. This is incredible. Stay frozen for a bit. What am I playing against? I don't need you to really pop off. I'd rather have another monkey. Like, I don't need this. What happens if instead I sell you purchase you purchase you freeze you and my turn? And I think scaling is just the way to go for right now. Yeah, I'll lose a round or two, but I think it's okay. Also, you're falling off in value really hard, which I'm okay with because I can replace you then. I mean, it's not your fault. I'm just not supporting you anymore. I could also put you in the last position. That might be the way to go. Because then I can proc you twice. Kill this. Thank you. What the hell? Beautiful. 
Each round we survive while scaling like this is incredible. So you... I know you're helpful, but sell you, buy you, combine you, purchase you, saber tooth me, force my buffs onto the saber tooth. Then I end my turn. I think I've made a really strong pivot here. And I don't think my opponents are going to be able to keep up. They also have scaling with dragonflies, which I feel like is just so weak. This is such a bad unit compared to a monkey. And I have enough HP to where I can keep this going for a while. I mean, this is just so hard to beat if you can make it work. You get two triggers already. And we're just starting. That's such a hit, good hit. That's incredible. And that's exactly why I wanted to build it. Tabakita. Give me a break. Roll me. I'll take it. I think I want to go this on you. And let's give everybody attack. And next turn you're going to become a 30 attack unit. Which is just insanely strong. Nobody's going monkey buffing. Um, so they really have like no chance of catching up. This is kind of a cool build. It's just that uh, Akita and Antelope is just so weak in general. I, I mean that's never going to work. Unfortunately for them. But I can respect this kind of build. I also like seeing Severus out. I feel like it's extremely weak. But it's still cool to see. Such a good buff. That's because my 16-16 isn't even out yet. Beautiful. And it doesn't really matter what I go for this last round. I'll purchase two of you. Just because I think it'll be cool to see. And I mean, that's the end of my turn. Just way too strong. I just want to see a pop. Ooh, two trumpets, four trumpets, six trumpets, oh, eight trumpets. Oh, it doesn't pop because it died. GG. And does that actually put us on the leaderboards for right now? Let's see. Well, there you go. That's how you get to the uh, top 10, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.